Hi guys, welcome to Plan Diary. Today I'm going to be showing you what plans I've ordered online. This is the first time I actually purchase plans online. Normally I just get them in the shop. Uh, I got them from Patch website. Um, the video is not sponsored. I bought them with my own money. So let's have a look. So this is Zami Okulka's Zamifolia, known as ZZ Plant. I bought it for my living room. It's one of the house plants which you can place in a low light and it'll be fine. When you buy ZZ Plant, it's uh, tight and stands upright. With age, it spreads out more, it kind of fans out. My mum got this plant, so I know it is a slow gr grower. They do grow faster in a bright light, but avoid direct sunlight. ZZ is easy to care for. It has potato-like roots, known as rhizomes, which obviously you can't see. <laughs> they store water, so watch out as not to water it too much. I'll say every two to three weeks should be fine. I do like this plant. I think it's got beautiful stems. So the leaves are really pretty, shiny. I like the colour green and the little pattern they've got on them. So yeah, I'm really happy with this easy plant. One important thing I would say, they are toxic to cats and dogs, so yeah. My second plant I got is Sanseveria trifaschiata, also known as the snake plant and mother-in-law's tongue. This one is Futura Superba variety. It's got these beautiful yellow rims around the leaves, that's why I've, I've chose this, this type. It is another easy to care for plant. It tolerates any light really. Um, snake plants also has rhizomes for roots. So always make sure that the soil is completely dry before watering. I say every three to four weeks should be fine. And um, be careful not to get any water in the center of the, of the leaves as it will start to rot. I bought this plant for my bedroom because Sanseveria is one of the few plants that produces oxygen even at night and also cleans air by filtering chemicals such as formaldehyde, benzene and others which I'm not going <laughs> to attempt to pronounce but I'll note them in the description box. But yeah, really happy with this one and I like that the le there are new leaves coming up as well and obviously that's how you can propagate it as well you just kind of split the, split the plants apart. Okay, my third plant is Pilea pepper romiodes, known as Chinese money plant. The first time I saw this plant was at my mum's years ago. I thought it was an interesting looking plant but I wasn't overly excited by it. Well, I've changed my tune as you can see, I bought it now. <laughs> I think it's a unique, beautiful plant. I mean, the leaves are really nice now, the nice shape of them. Pilia is easy to propagate. Just remove the babies from the mother plant so they will just be popping around. Use by using clean, sharp knife. This one will go into my living room where it will get good, bright light. Before watering, let the soil almost dry out and make sure the pot has drainage holes since Pilea can be prone to root out. Root out? Yeah, root rot. <laughs> right, and my last one is Boston Fern, which unlike the other plants I showed you, likes humidity. So I got this one for my bathroom. Although my bathroom gets quite warm in the summer, I'm hoping by misting it a few times a week, it will thrive. Fern likes to be watered twice a week, so don't let the soil dry out and place it in, in direct sunlight. I really like the texture of the fern, so yeah, can't wait for it to grow a bit bigger. So I'm really happy with the plants, how they came. The other thing I'd say, they only had this packaging on, so literally everyone just had a little plastic, so it did not come, it did not come in any box or anything, so easy to recycle. So I think my favorite one would be the ZZ plant. Purely, I just like how shiny and I like the print on the leaves. Let me know in the comment below how, which plant is your favorite. And if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you, bye.